Hello, world folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. So after everything he's been through, King Charles is finally postponing any attempts to bring the Duke and Duchess of Sussex back into the royal fold after the coronation world reporter has suggested. The king is believed to have asked the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, for support for starting communications with his younger son and helped to defuse the tensions ahead of his historic ceremony in May. The royal reporter, Robert Jobson, claimed the stories were a wide mark as the king remained focused on establishing himself as the new sovereign. Meanwhile, the Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer said he would be surprised if the Duke and Duchess of Sussex did not receive an invite, but added that the decision was ultimately down to the government. Speaking to Pandora Force on the Daily Express royal roundup, Mr. Palmer said, I'm going to be surprised if they don't get an invitation. Ultimately, it's down to the government, so Rishi Shunak and his fellow ministers are going to have to explain who has been invited and who hasn't been invited and why. Speaking later about when an invitation could be sent through, Mr. Palmer said the Prime Minister will have to bite the bullet sooner or later. He said it's imminent, though, as invitations will be going out really soon. They are going to have to bite the bullet and make a decision very soon. Royal experts' comments come after Charles's yesterday issued an accidental brutal reply when asked if he can bring Harry back to the UK. The king was greeted with cheers and applause as he visited students at the University of East London's Stratford campus in East London for their 125th anniversary. While at the campus, His Majesty unveiled a plaque and opened its new hospital and primary care training hub. However, while he was greeting some students and other well-wishers, one man shouted, Bring back Harry, please. Can you bring him back, please, sir? In response, clearly not having heard who the man was talking about, shouted back, Who? The man replied, Harry, your son, to which Charles nervously retorted, It would be nice, before moving on. Debate over whether Prince Harry should attend the coronation has ensued after the king's son openly criticized the royal family in his memoir spare released last month. Invitations for the 90-minute service at Westminster Abbey are expected to be sent out this month. A source told the son, they'll definitely be invited, and we're working on the assumption that they will come. The king's coronation is set to draw eyes from across the globe for three glorious days of celebrations beginning May 6th. So what do you guys think about this news? Do you think this is the end for Harry and Meghan's coronation dream? Do you think this might also affect their royal return dream too? As the royal family closes its last door for Harry and Meghan, write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.